Hello, and thank you for choosing Orchestra's how-to series. Um, today, we're going to be talking about recurring journal entries and how those are used in SAP Business One 2007. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump right in the software. So these are located in the financials under recurring postings. Makes sense so far. And in order to make one, what we do is we give it a code. Um, let's say rent description monthly rent and now we can say where does the money come from taking it out of the bank for say five thousand dollars and where are we putting it in this case we're going to choose an expense I'm going to call it maintenance for five thousand dollars so we've just done a uh, de deduction from our bank account with the debit to the maintenance um, expense and we're gonna do this monthly on we'll do the 14th and this is going to be valid until perpetuity so we're just gonna leave it we can also give it a end date of you know whichever day we select but we want to have this go forever because we're going to be paying rent unfortunately uh, into the near future. So we're going to say add. All right, and now we can also click on our confirmation list. And this shows us that we have rent due today. Would I like to execute this journal entry? Um, and I'm going to say yes because I do want to post this. But this window will pop open the first time you load SAP in the morning on the day in question. And um, it's going to ask you, you know, today you have these postings. Please confirm them. Um, the system is not just going to make the posting, assuming it's correct. It's going to ask for confirmation. I giving that posting is permanent. Yes. Okay. I've just made a recurring posting, so I've done it for today on the 14th, and next month on the 14th it will pop open again and say, Hey, you need to pay rent. Um, would you like to make the posting? Okay, one other useful uh, for recurring invoices is, I'll show you one that I have set up, is what's called a template. So what I've done is I've said, this is a pretty standard journal entry I use, but there's no real rhyme or reason to the scheduling of it. So instead of having it scheduled daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, you know, in a, a pretty consistent time fashion, excuse me, time fashion, I just want to use it as a template to make journal entries when I need them. So I say template. And now when I'm doing a journal entry, one of my options is to choose a template type of recurring posting. And on this field, you can select tab, and it will give you a list of all of your recurrings. And I'm going to say BFC. This is a bank finance charge in my world and I'm saying that I'm going to pay a bank finance charge. So by just selecting BFC, it's automatically selected the accounts that I use and the standard deductions um, that I would select. Of course, I can go in and I can edit any of this information. Uh, the journal has not been posted yet, but if your standard wire transfer fee is $25 and you always hit the same expense account, it always comes from the same checking account, or maybe you could have two of them, one for each checking account you use, um, then by all means uh, set it up and it'll save you a little bit of time and uh, let's face it SAP is all about saving us time so I hope you find this helpful uh, if you have any questions please feel free to contact us at 559-477-4256 or on the web at www.orchestrateam.com have a great day alright bye bye